Welcome back guys to another bit of you, you're watching all the bit idea, Baz is back. Yes, I might be looking rather tired because I've worked all weekend, but thankfully, <laughs> well I say thankfully, I've got a day off tomorrow. No work planned in, so I've got a day off and I wouldn't say it's the only reason that I'm doing this beer that I'm going to do now, but it's probably a good job that I am off tomorrow for doing this beer. Uh, finished work today, had a pad of Borna Pilsner, uh, I've had a pint of heated seats out of the perfect draft and I've got this one so by the time you know them two pints and this one and being tired I'll be ready for a good line tomorrow so let's shut up and get on with the beer and what we've got now is a British beer now and it's from the Thornbridge and this is their Necessary Evil Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout coming in at a whopping 13 <laughs> percent uh it's a 375 ml bottle so it's a big old bottle probably two-thirds of a pint this would be can't remember how much it was i bought a box from i don't know a couple of years ago maybe a couple of years ago during lockdown i think uh there was i don't know something like 12 beers and i got the thornbridge glass uh obviously it's not really a sort of stout glass but it's a thornbridge glass so i'm going to put it in there so there we go lovely looking label on there and a lovely bottle cap it's a slightly bigger bottle cap as well so excuse me had a big chinese for tea so a little bit gassy let's get it open and see what we get that didn't open very well i'm expecting it to be quite boozy it's not looking particularly thick there it's got to be said not looking a particularly heavy beer i'm expecting it to be boozy i'm not keen on whiskey or bourbon so it'll be interesting to see what it's like i've had it a couple of years it runs out of date it says on here the f may this year so uh hopefully it might have eased down a bit i don't know probably i don't know if i need to sort of swill it a bit more yeah there's definitely a different sort of color coming out there I think I've got it all out. Hopefully, there's no sort of sediment in there. Anyway, beer in a glass, absolutely no, no head on it. There's like a dusting on top of tan, which doesn't surprise me. It does look extremely loose and thin, to be honest, at 13%. Uh, not quite jet black. That's more deep mahogany. Not seeing any carbonation going up. So... It looks like Coke, to be honest. It looks like Coke. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. Okay. Stouty, obviously. There is an inkling of that bourbon in there. Hopefully the fact that there's only sort of an inkling. Uh, I hope, hopefully that means it's, it's sort of died down in taste as well. Yeah, sort of, I'm not getting an awful lot in there. A little bit of uh, the, the whiskey sort of thing. A bit malty. Not really picking any up, any sort of like chocolate or coffee or anything up in there. Anyway, let's stop rambling. Let's dive in and let's see what this 13 cent beer tastes like. Hmm. Mm. definitely boozy in taste uh, and that sort of kicked in right at the last right on the back end body of the beer let's get let's get going on on the basics to start off with hmm thin something 13 percent that is very very thin uh not sort of gloopy it is just it is just very thin gently carbonated it is very soft it's very smooth but you do feel that carbonation in the mouthfeel so the mouth feels you know the body is is very light Carbonation's gentle, which isn't, you know, too much of a bad thing. 
mouth feels quite decent. So let's go in and give it some tasting notes. You've got that stouty feel in there, obviously. You do pick up the bourbon. For me, I think you pick up a little bit of vanilla in there as well. I would say what I'm picking up on the nose now, I'm picking up in taste. You do get that woody feel in the, on the nose. You do get that barrel age kind of oak, woody feel in the beer. A little bit peaty as well. Peaty, earthy. For me, I don't even know. It, it might not even be in there, but for me, I'm, I'm getting a feel of vanilla in there. Let's see what it says on here. It is boozy, 13%. With all fairness, 13%, yeah, you are getting that bit of booziness in there. You do get that. It hasn't got that, for me, it hasn't got that warming inside of the 13%. And it certainly doesn't, I don't think it really tastes like 13% either. Aromas of sweet bourbon, that may be, may be the vanilla kind of thing that I'm picking up in there. Hmm. It's a sort of sweetness in there. Vanilla and oak from the aging process, combined with the rich chocolate. Now I got that woody feel to it. For me, I got an earthiness to it. I did sort of mention before a bit of a vanilla feel. Same rich chocolate. I don't think I've really picked up rich chocolate personally. I think because the mouth feels really smooth and then you maybe do sort of get that sweetness of the vanilla or the bourbon in there. Whether it kind of tricks you into thinking it's like a rich chocolate. I kind of get that roasted malts. Yeah, that's your typical sort of a stout thing I was going on. Uh, and caramel. I don't know if I'm really sort of getting caramel in there myself. Well, I mean, at a push you could maybe say there's an inkling of it, but for me it's not something that I picked up. Soft and silky. Uh, agree, it is soft, it is quite silky. Full flavoured stout, uh, has layers of complexity and flavour unlike any other beer. Yeah, I mean, I think most of them I picked out. I did say it was soft, I did say it was woody. Got the uh, bourbon, obviously you get the bourbon in there. Definitely got some vanilla, didn't really get the rich chocolate or caramel. Yeah, there are signals in there that you could point to and say, yeah, maybe a bit of that. But but otherwise, me rambling on, excuse me. Thornbridge is Necessary Evil, which was, what's it saying? Well, that's Thornbridge, isn't it? Yeah, then Necessary Evil, a bourbon barrel aged stout coming in at 13 cent. It's very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, how much it's changed uh, being in a bottle for, like I said, I've had this for a couple of years, so it's maybe mellowed a bit over a couple of years. What it would be like, at, you know, real fresh, I don't know. If it's real fresh and it, you know, it would, it, and this, if this has changed, if it was real fresh, it probably wouldn't be down to my taste. But after having it for a couple of years, that bourbon has sort of mellowed and, and, and it really works with the stout. Yeah, so for me, yeah, it's a winner for me. Uh, a boozy number, a sipper. Don't know how much it would have been. I think I paid, 
I can't even remember what I paid, 40 quid, something like that, for 12 beers or something in the glass. I don't know, something like that. But uh, yeah, thumbs up from me for this one. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. If you've not had it, maybe give it a go. If you like stouts, you like them strong, and you like a bit of bourbon or whiskey, well worth a try. Like I say, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. That's it for tonight. I'm going to go and drink this and then probably snooze until hopefully about four in the afternoon tomorrow, but I can't see that happening. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you again on another beer review. Cheers.